It is the final channel B in the no Uganda a eh, vaccine to say vaccine to say vaccine ya COVID-19 finally mazene to ke Uganda kati echiri eh, wo bagenda jitungani bagenda jikuvani ani asoka wo vaccine e eh, mazene to ka kanku ku ya vaccine obiulire the world are able to receive the vaccine regardless of where they live and it was with a firm belief in this principle that the UK was one of the first to back the COVAX facility because we want a global solution to this global pandemic. And thanks to a huge international effort from all these people that you see around you that I'm really pleased to say that the UK and the rest of the world is now starting to move towards the end of this pandemic. And we're delighted that our support through the Coalition of Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, the CEPI bit of what you see behind you, also helped deliver the vaccine solutions. And I'm very proud that this is an Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. <laughs> Oxford, my university town, coming to Uganda today. The UK has committed, thank you, sorry, I just have to say that. <laughs> The UK has committed half a billion pounds, or 2.78 trillion, to ensure global access to vaccines, making us the second largest donor to the COVAX facility after our lovely EU colleagues. And this facility will enable up to 92 countries, um, including Uganda now, to receive more than a billion COVAX-19 vaccine doses. I would like to congratulate His Excellency the President, the Ministry of Health, the frontline healthcare workers who have valiantly so battled through the early months of this disease. And I'm so pleased to know that we are targeting those most at risk with these vaccines here today. And this can really mark a cornerstone uh, for reviving both the economy and also allowing Ugandan children across this country to be able to return to school safely. Honourable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues, um, there are still challenges to overcome. We know this, we've talked about those today. But I, like my friends here present, will stand steadfastly by the government of Uganda to make sure that we work together tirelessly to overcome these health challenges on COVID but the others facing your fabulous nation. Thank you. Well, I've been requested to remove my mask and I... Uh, I want to request the media not to take it as something bad because you need to hear me. Oops. Excellencies, heads of missions, the WHO country representative, UNICEF country representative, the vaccine committee members, the airport staff, and my teams from the Ministry of Health. Today is a great day, and a special day for us here in Uganda as we receive the first consignment of COVID-19 vaccines from the Serum Institute of India under the COVAX facility and aboard the Emirates Airlines, as we all saw. So I request all of you to appreciate God for this wonderful day. In a special way, allow me to appreciate the people who work tirelessly. And I'm not going to mention names because I may forget someone to ensure that the vaccines arrive here and arrive on time. For the vaccines to get here, Uganda had to complete some requirements. And one of them was to ensure that we have a national vaccine deployment plan which we do have, it was completed and approved. The second was to sign an indemnity agreement with the Serum Institute of India. It was done and approved. And the third was to ensure that the National Drug Authority 
that is ably represented here approves the vaccine for use in Uganda and it is duly approved and Uganda can therefore use the vaccine to vaccinate the community. So allow me to say a big thank you again to all of you. So the vaccines will be used to vaccinate persons providing essential services and who are at high risk of exposure in the line of duty. The groups will be vaccinated with the doses at hand and these groups include the health workers in public, private not-for-profit and private facilities. It also includes the security personnel the UPDF police and prisons, and it includes the teachers in the public and private facilities. Uganda is fully prepared to launch and start utilizing the vaccines starting on the 10th of March 2021. We will use our tested strength of decentralized health services to deliver the vaccines to the target populations in record time. We have adequate cold chain capacity that has been prepared to receive the COVID vaccines at the national medical stores that is also represented here and also at the district level. The vaccines have been allocated to the districts and the national medical stores will deliver to the districts on schedule. District teams have been trained to safely administer the vaccines to the target population. Registration of priority groups has been finalized, especially those that we have highlighted. So I expect all the districts to start vaccination of health workers following the launch on the 10th. The initial groups will be the health workers in the public health facilities, followed by those in the private not-for-profit, and then subsequently those in the private health facilities. And this will be done between the 10th to the 15th of March 2021. Thereafter, we shall have the teachers, and the exercise will begin from the 16th to the 19th of March 2021. Our official launch will take place on the 10th and not on the 8th as initially communicated because as many of you are aware the 8th is International Women's Day. So our launch will take place at Mulago National Referral Hospital and you will have a few of these people here vaccinated as well. So we invite you to come and be present at the launch. This is just the beginning of our journey to vaccinate an estimated 22 million persons against COVID-19, including the refugee populations. Further information on the vaccination schedules for the rest of the population will be provided from time to time as we receive more vaccines. The government of Uganda appreciates the commitment of the global community here represented by the excellencies, the ambassadors, the high commissioners and the UN fraternity for mobilizing resources that enable this unprecedented research, development and production of vaccines in record time. We are indeed grateful for the establishment of the COVAX facility, a mechanism put in place to ensure equitable allocation and distribution of the otherwise very scarce and expensive COVID-19 vaccines free of charge to low and middle income countries at a time when the whole world is experiencing one of the worst economic hardships. We want to appreciate His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, who spearheaded the COVID-19 response 
and also provided this very conducive environment for us to have the vaccines here on time. As we receive this first consignment of vaccines, we shall continue to encourage every Ugandan to patiently wait for their turn to receive the vaccines while we remain vigilant and working very hard with the COVID committee members. So before I take my seat, allow me to request the members of the vaccine committee to stand up for recognition. So those are the people, the members of the vaccine committee, who are working hard to ensure that we deliver the vaccines to the population of Uganda. I thank you all for God and my country. Aha, Uganda. Tufunye, tufunye vaccine. Ndoza, ekonome jaku damu yegulewo mpola mpola. Tulabenga tutambula fena. Yes, it just sukawa no nakorale. It is the final channel. I'm out.